Happy Sunday. We're so excited to be finishing up our series of the greatest story ever, ever told. told. Guys, we got a special guest with us today in the recording studio. Let's find out who, who it is. is. Hi, Rose Kids. Oh my Cruise. God. It's Cruz. It's Cruz, guys. Cruz is gonna be helping us out a little bit today with the Daily Declaration and something else we're gonna talk about after we finish the Daily Declaration. It's gonna be fun! Are you guys ready for the Daily Declaration? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes! Alright, ready? I'm ready! I know I'm ready! Let's do it! Here we go! I, I am confident! I am strong! I am a child of God! I am loved by God. I am who God says I am. God has great plans for my life. And it's all because of Jesus! Yeah! That was great job. Awesome. Chris, good job. You guys, great job. So much fun that was already. Amazing. Guys, we're about to do something really fun. I know the Blade Blade ba Beyblade battle last week was awesome, and we're getting a little more creative this yeah. week. What are we making, are you Cruz? Tell them what we're gonna make? Flubber! Oh. Flubber! Flubber! Oh. Well, let's get ready, guys. You let's guys. get ready. Get ready! Let's get down to business! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay! All right, let's go! <laughs> this is what the finished product is gonna look like. You wanna show them, Cruz? Yeah. Ooh. So, it's not gonna stretch, but you can make cool designs. Yeah, that's yep. true. It feels really cool. Feels so when I, I show you all of it. Yep. So I'm gonna show you what we need in order to make flubber. You're gonna need some warm water. water. You're gonna need some white glue. glue. White glue. Elmo's white glue, glue, preferably. And. Elmer's. Borax. You're gonna need some borax. And some food coloring. That's, That's right. That's right, bud. Wait, should I tell them the colors? Yeah, tell them what colors uh, we got. We got a red, few colors for you guys. We have red, yellow, yep. green, and blue. Yep. That's right. Those are our options. So, what we're going to need first is we have our bowls here yeah. ready. So we don't get messy on the table. That's right. right. So we're gonna need one and a half cups of warm water and one bowl. I got it, Cruz, you got it? Yeah. Here, wait, wait, all right, let's pour one. Fill this one up, keep going. Uh, all right, one more, Ken's. Just half, just half. Right there, oh. that's good, all right. <laughs> perfect. That's yep, perfect. All right, one and a half cups. Okay, then we're gonna need two cups of glue. Ooh. You gonna hold it for it. Is this going with the water? Yep. Alrighty. Okay. So the Amber's glue is going to go in here. Okay. That's right. Two full ones, right? Yep. Two, two cups. Make it happy. Oh my gosh, look at Wow, we got a big thing of glue, guys. Look yes. at that thing of glue! Oh man! Guys, we don't want to okay, Dump it in fast. Then. Flip it over. Nice. Okay. Want the so big true. one. The this, more, the this merrier. This is where it's at. Target. We got all this at Target too. Yeah. So yeah, say, hey, that's... mom and dad, make a Target order. They even have curbside pickup. Yep. That's a catchy word for the parents, guys. Don't have to curbside go. Curbside pickup. Only, okay, we need one more cup. That's right. We need one more. One cup more cup. Here ready? we go. Hold on tight. Oh. Oh. Gordon. Nice, good job, bud. Okay, next we need our food coloring. Do you Ooh. want to pick out our colors for us today, Chris? Yes. Today's color is red and yellow. Awesome. Okay, let's see it. All right. Yellow first. 
Alrighty. Let's get these sleeves up, Cruise Man. Oh, oh yeah, there you, you go. Don't want to get a your cool sprinkle. Pokemon shirt dirty. Alright, and then what else? Red. Red. And Ooh. put like five drops over here too. Nice. Wow. Nice. Okay, do you want to mix great, it for us? Guys. So then we mix that up. Nice and slow. Oh, there you go. It's okay. <laughs> that's why we're nice and slow. We should have used bigger bowls maybe, but that's all right. There you go. Just like that. Wow, the color is so cool. Nice, Cruz. There you go. Oh, Who taught yeah. you that trick? The spin trick? Daddy. Your dad? Nice. Okay. He's a pretty so, cool guy. Uh, only the yellow kind of looks like egg yolks. So in another bowl, while you're mixing that, in this bowl, you're gonna add and in your water. one and one third cup of water. And then you're going to add in three, three teaspoons of, of, do you remember what that's called? It's kind of a hard thing. Borax. Yep, Borax, yeah guys. And then you're gonna mix that. Wow, this, look at this mixture. This gets it activated. Ooh. All right. All right, how's it look? Think that looks good? Yep. We need uh, one more. You think you need, we need more? One more. Okay, we'll add a little more. Why not? Let's see what happens. Because why not, right? Because we want to make a big giant. This is fun. Big giant, guys. Wow. Okay, Cruz. Smells like glue. You, okay, <laughs> and then next you mix it together. Pour it in. Nice and fast. There you go. Woohoo! Nice. Good job. Now we're gonna mix it slowly. Just spin it around slowly. What about the spinning? Yeah, you can do that. Uh oh, here it goes. Then it's activating. It's getting flubby. Whoa. And then, uh, when you see a, like there's a whole thing flubby, uh, you just take it out with this. Ooh. Yeah, nice and slow, remember? Here, we can put this underneath. There we go. How's it looking, Cruz? Is it looking flubby? It's looking oh. flubby. Oh, wow. Uh, it still needs some. Yeah, keep going a little bit. Nice, Whoa. look at oh, that. I see looks it. really cool, guys. <gasps> it's starting to thicken up. Whoa! Whoa. Wow, we. Yeah, that's right. Leave it in the comment section, guys. T tag us on Instagram, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, but I really like that. Are you like going to make more of this on Sunday cruise? Yes. You are? Nice. Are you going to show your sister how to make it? Yes, and if you're watching this, Cheney, you know how to make it, and you know where to get the stuff. That's right. <laughs> that's right, little girl. All right. So now, guys, we are going to pull out our flubber and we're gonna let it sit for a minute. Cruz, I'm gonna grab it. Can I do the honors? Yes. All right. And we will show you what it looks like. There's, Whoa, there's look gonna it. be some excess water in the bottom of the bowl. That's totally fine. Totally. So now we got our flubber right here. It's really wet. So what we're gonna wanna do now is we're gonna put it in a separate bowl. bowl. Yep. We're gonna put it in this gray bowl. Here we go, let's put it in there. You ready, Cruz? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, Whoa. oh, it's so heavy. It's a lot heavier, huh? Yeah. Do I have something on my hands? Mm. I think I do. Yeah. What I have is? flubber. Flubber. Whoa. Oh, you guys are ripping it. It's not supposed to rip. Well, we gotta let it sit. Hold on, guys. I need to Once you let it sit, then it will look like this. Yeah, now we just let it dry. And guys, with the final product, we'll show you what we got. What? That's right. All right, guys. What a great time with our activity. And here is our final product. Lover. Lover, 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 lover. All right, Cruz, it's time for our favorite time. It is time for the lesson. Woo! Woo! 
What's up guys? Check out my flubber. It is super awesome. It looks like we got pink color and if you flip it over, we got some blue as well. I hope you guys find a way to make some flubber with your family um, and it'll be an awesome time. Would love to see it one day. So save it until we get to be back at church together. Everybody bring your flubber. We'll have a flubber party. Does that sound good? Yeah, flubber parties are the best parties. Trust me. One sec. Hey, Ken's, catch this. Nice. Thank you. She caught it, guys. Trust me. She caught it. So it is time for the lesson, guys. And listen closely. We're ending our series that we've been calling the greatest story ever told. This is our last video for that series. But don't worry. Next week, we're going to be starting a new series calling be, that's called Draw Near. If you don't know what that means, tune in next week to find that out. So, ending today's series. Guys, we've gone through the story of creation. We've talked about how God um, created Adam and Eve, man and woman, and how they sinned and they did something they weren't supposed to do that God told them not to do, and that caused a separation between God and man, but God promised a solution, a solution to bring them back into friendship, into good relationship with one another. And then there were kings and there were prophets who talked about the coming of our hero, the one who was our solution to our problem of sin. And do you guys remember who that hero is? That's right, the hero of the greatest story ever told is Jesus, guys. That is right. So we have Jesus, and then Jesus died as the solution. But guess what? He rose again from the dead, alive, conquering death, defeating death, and triumphing over sin. Those are big words for just he's in victory. He defeated sin, and he won the battle over it. So, after that, he said, Now go and tell all the world about what I've done. And so that was a mission for us, to go and tell the whole world about who he is and what he's done, that he gave us the solution to sin, and that he defeated sin, and that he wants to be in a relationship with everybody in the world, and that he sent his Holy Spirit and if you don't remember who the Holy Spirit is, don't worry. We're going to be talking about that in a few weeks. But so he sent his Holy Spirit to be living inside of us, to help us, to comfort us and to lead us. And we have the Bible, the greatest story ever told. And now we're telling the world about Jesus. But now we're going to fast forward into the future now. So we talked about the past and now we're going into the future. So not right now, but in the future. That's right, guys. So, in the future, the ending of the greatest story ever told, Jesus says that he is going to bring us back home, bring us up to heaven where we are going to live forever with him, and that he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth the way that he intended it to be in the first place before sin entered the world. So, guys, we have... Jesus coming back, starting a new world, a new heaven, a new earth where we get to live forever. And there won't be death. There won't be pain or suffering. There will just be joy and love and, and kindness. Stuff that we get to be doing right now, remember, but it'll be forevermore when Jesus returns and comes back for all of us. And that could be next week. That could be in a month from now, or that could be 10 years from now or more. Jesus says that nobody knows when he's returning, but he said, don't worry, I promise I will be returning. So that's the end of the greatest story ever told. There's so much more about that, and we'll talk about that another day. But that is the gist of it, guys. That is the basics of it, is Jesus, he's coming back for us. That's what we get to look forward to in the future of the greatest story ever told. But let's rewind and go back to today. And this 
is one of the most important things to remember for what's going on in the greatest story ever told. We're in this kind of middle section. Everybody say, middle section. Good job, guys. And in this section, God, he's still writing some of the greatest story ever told. We already have the past. We have the future. But we're still writing the story right now. And that is where we, me, you, all the people in our church, all your friends and family that love Jesus, we get to be a part of what God is doing in the world right now, leading up to the end of the greatest story ever told, guys. And we get to do that by telling others about Jesus. We get to do that by loving others like Jesus loves them. And we get to do that by forgiving others and showing the world what life with God is like. So guys, that is our series of the greatest story ever told. It was an amazing story. The story of God, the story of Jesus, the story of us as followers of Jesus and what that means and what that looks like. You guys, it is truly the greatest story ever told. So we love you guys and we love this series. And next week, we're going to start our new series talking about how we are going to get closer and closer to God. It is going to be amazing. Just like every week, because you guys are amazing. Well, guys, thanks for watching. We want to see you guys make your flubber. We want to see your oh. flubber. Where's my, oh, my flubber. I forgot I put it there. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Look at my flubber. Whee. So many fun things you can Whee. do with it. Whoops. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, we want to see your flubber like Mackenzie said. And also, we'd love to see you do the daily declaration. We love it when you guys post videos and we get to see what you guys are up to. Yeah. So make sure your parents tag us at Rose Church. Yep. Happy Sunday, guys, and we will see you next week. We love you guys. Bye.